Hey everyone, it's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to be joining Heffy Doodle on their Heffy Friends blog hop today, and the links to all of that information is in the description. Today I'm going to be using the Big Bug Hug stamp set as well as the Friend Die, and this is a card that I created using the Gnome stamp set, and I'm going to take a lot of the colors and use them again in my card today. I really loved the way that this one came out. I thought that the sky just looked really cool and ethereal, and I wanted to give that same feeling to my card today. So I'm using some Distress Oxides in Squeezed Lemonade, Wild Honey, Worn Lipstick, and Seedless Preserves. I also do use Faded Jeans on the very outer edge, uh, but I didn't show it there, but I wanted to mention it. So I'm going to use my Trinity Stamps Blendability Brushes to create this glowing, again, ethereal uh, scene. And for inspiration for this, I went way back to a very old Christina Werner video, and I will link that in the description. Uh, she creates a mail art, so something on an envelope where it's a glowing scene. And again, she starts with a very yellow color in the center and sort of blends out. And I wanted to take that idea and use it on my card today. I'm going to make sure that my images stay on the very outside or the outer perimeter of my card, and the center is going to be my main sentiment. And I wanted to look as if it were glowing, like the sentiment were sort of magical and the, the whole point behind the card. So again, the colors I'm using the very inside is squeezed lemonade. I then go in with a little bit of uh, wild honey and then worn lipstick and seedless preserves. And then I quickly realized that it's not as dark on the outside as I wanted it to be. So I go in with a little bit of faded jeans just to bring in that contrast. And I really liked it after I added just a tiny bit of that to the very edges of the card. So here are a few images, and these are the dragonfly images from the stamp set that I colored, and I used some yellow Copics to color this. I'm going to stamp a few more out with Memento Tuxedo Black ink, and I'm using this ink because it is a Copic safe ink, meaning that the alcohol in the markers won't make the ink run. To color these, I just do something really simple. I take the very lightest color, and then I go in and, and I take the lightest color and color in the entire image. Then I go in with my darkest color on the most shaded parts. And then I blend that together with my mid-tone. And then once again, I go over it with my lightest color. I colored the wings in with BG10. It's sort of this really, really light bluish green color. And I thought it kind of looked almost transparent. So I wanted the wings to look a little bit transparent as well. For a little bit of something extra magical on the card front, I'm using white gouache. And if you're not familiar with what that is, it's a very thick uh, paint and I'm using it just with a little bit of water in it and it's very pigmented. So I'm using it just with a tiny bit of water and then making splatters all over my card front so that it looks maybe like lights or just like dust or something. I'm not sure, but I really love the way that it turned out. And I just had this idea that I needed it in on my card front with those colors. So I'm going to set that aside to dry. And while I do that, I'm going to create my sentiment. I'm using the friend dye as my main part of my sentiment. I'm using Royal Treatment by Catherine Pooler. This is an in ink and I'm just going pad to paper here just to make sort of my own colored cardstock. I'm going to cut out this dye twice, once with the purple and then once right below it with white. I'm going to adhere these together so that they have, it has a little bit of uh, substance and it's a little more or less pliable and it has a little bit more to it. So I'm just taking some glue and I recommend a really fine tipped glue for this because it's very fine. And I'm putting the uh, purple uh, word cut dye right on top of the white so that it just looks purple. You can't see any of the white, but it has nice substance to it. To add something to the scene, I just felt like something was missing. I used the grass dyes also from Heffy Doodle, and I always tend to cut a little bit bigger of a piece than I need because it's easy to trim, not so easy to add. So you can see here, I, I cut way too much um, when I did the die cut. So I'm just trimming some off of the bottom and the sides. And I really like the way that it turned out. I wish that I had put it up just a tad bit more, but you'll see in a second, I end up just covering it with the dragonfly anyway. 
I finished off my sentiment with I'll be there for you and that's actually from the gnome stamp set as well but I really love the way that this turned out. After all was said and done, I trimmed this down to four by five and a quarter, which is just slightly smaller than an A2 size card. And then I, ad or I adhered that with foam tape onto an A2 sized card. Thank you so much for stopping by today. I hope that you enjoyed the video. Please go into the description for the link to my blog so that you can hop along with us. Be sure to add a comment or leave a comment on each step on the blog for your chance to win a 50 euro gift certificate to the Happy Doodle Shop. Thank you so much for stopping by. I will see you again very soon. Thank you. Bye.